Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Trade Nothing. Yes, the rumors are true. There is a Trade Nothing map, and it is here. We have eight players. This is a free-for-all. This is diplomacy. This is regicide. But all you start with is a town center, a market, and a house alongside ten... I think it's ten. Yes, ten trade carts. So the, the description of this map, I will read to you. Uh, actually, I will not read the description of the map because I don't have that up on a tab anymore. So I will give you a, a, an idea of what the description said. The description said you should only start with a TC, a market, and 10 trade yes. carts. And trade carts are 10 wood and 50 gold. So the price is cheaper. But then at the end of the description, it said, you think that is cheap? Heh! <laughs> and laughed. So uh, obviously that laughter implies that that is not going to be very cheap because there's no wood, there's no gold, there's no stone on this map, and you're only relying on the trade to then bring in gold and, of course, use the market to adjust things to your liking. Uh, we did cast this previously. I think that this will probably be the first one to go to YouTube just because of how crazy it is. But we casted this previously, and uh, previously we did King of the Hill. And so some players, it was interesting, some players bought a lot of food, some players bought a lot of wood, most players did, and then many players actually bought stone. So it's a matter of, of when you purchase things because the prices are ever changing. Uh, when you get to Feudal Age, you can make more trade cards. You, of course, cannot do that for now. And since it is diplomacy, that means you can ally your enemy, any person at any time. Uh, the ultimate goal in any regicide game in Age of Empires 2 is to kill the kings, and every single person has a king. This is not played on Explored, so they're going to draw some fancy things for us on the on the mini-map. Be careful, sometimes it could be an 18-plus image. Of course, they're probably all allied at the start, but you're unable to... Uh, you don't get the free card to upgrade until later on. Wow, what did Drewski do here? Dr Drewski, I guess I should introduce the players, but he built two farms, a barracks, and he's advancing to Feudal Age already. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. We'll see if it pays off. Okay, let me introduce the players. In the orange, we have Drewski. And Drewski is playing as the Huns. Strong Civ, you don't need to build houses like some of these other civilizations. We have Spiro. Spiro is playing as the Slavs in the blue. In the red, we have a Fee Age. Fee Age is actually one of the best players of all time. One of the best Brazilian players of all time, for sure. And actively, probably a top 20 player. So I might have missed some complaints from him. But Fiage wanted to play in a community game, and here he is! Let's see if he lasts very long. It's, it's exciting to have someone like Fiage in here. Uh, in the yellow, we have Tilt Stars. Tilt Stars is playing as the Aztecs. In the green, we have Roach. Roach is playing as the Saracens. In the purple, we have Saracens for Vui Kickass. And then we have uh, Magyars for Erbalim. Erbalim is. Oh, not the final player to introduce. We have 408 who's in the gray playing as the Berbers. And yes, Twitch chat is pointing out to me, they chose normal speed. And I'll tell you what, the first time we tried to do this, uh, chat, the first time we tried to do this, what did we get? We got King of the Hill instead of Regicide. The second time, we don't have fast speed. So <laughs> there's so many settings that, uh, that can be adjusted in Age of Empires 2, which makes it beautiful but also can make it a bit frustrating if we get it wrong. So hopefully the game does not go on for too many hours, because I only have about six left in the day, and uh, I don't want to spend them all in this game. <laughs> so get comfy, as M8 says. Get comfy. This is, this is a great time for those here on Twitch to talk about what strategies could possibly be used. There's also no possibility for us to know what the, what the best play is, because we haven't seen this enough to know. I can tell you that Saracens are a good pick because anytime there's a nothing map, anytime you're using the market, Saracens can be helpful. Aztecs can be really strong. You see Aztecs for Tilt Stars. Uh, what do Aztecs get? Well, they get the best monks in the game. So I think for that reason, that can be great. Because you are, you are going to get gold. That's one thing that's guaranteed. The price of wood, the price of stone, everything will, will go up. Even the price of food might go up. Obsta says, T90 official, I would wall and gate my market. Well, uh, of, of course, it's a good point. If you lose your market and you don't have enough wood to build another one, you're up the creek without a paddle. But I also think that efficiency is important. Amron. 
So we saw players in the King of the Hill version of this building markets in the, the corners. So if you trade from the northern corner to the southern corner, you get 199 gold per trip, which seems, it seems like a lot. It really does. I know. That, that, that makes you think, wow, why would players ever have any problems? That's a lot of gold. But yeah, you're going to have some problems when the costs change here. In common, I did I did ban Spanish, yes. I should have mentioned that. I banned Spanish just because of the fact that uh, blacksmith upgrades do not cost gold. Not that that would really help them here because they're going to have gold. But also because of the trade. And they get so much more gold per trip. So just talking about ideas, not, not necessarily uh, what is best here. Good point from Sister Respector420 in the chat. He said Khmer plus instant age up would be a good choice. Yeah, it's a good point. Every player here will need to build the required buildings to advance to the next age. That's, that's a good thought. It's interesting that Fiage is building so many freaking farms. And look at the vill differences. Fiage, you know, he... Yes. <laughs> I just said to one of the viewers here, make sure you're constantly creating villagers. And that was my tip for this guy because he's going to play in a casual tournament this weekend. Well, I don't know if that's the, the best strategy for this map. Because he's going, when these farms expire, they are, there's going to be no wood in the bank to, to replenish them. It's tough. I mean, maybe you can sell the food for gold. Maybe that's a strat. He will be in feudal age. Yeah, I think that that's what he will go for. It's hard to track, but it seems like Fiage is trading as efficiently as possible. Of course, it's not completely even because some players are further and closer. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. All the farms are expiring for Fiage. <laughs> All the farms expiring, oh boy. And so he has to decide between reseeding the farms and building the market. This is cool because you can see their actual ratings. So half the people in this game never play rated games on Voopli. They just probably just play for community games or they play on the beginner's ladder. Then you have Roach. He's 1,700 plus, so he's definitely the second best player in this game. A fee age, he is, is 2K2. <laughs> 2K2 is, as again, within the, the top 20 or 30 in the world. Or maybe maybe top 50, but... See, I think fee age is creating villagers for nothing. They can't go to any resource now. I think you should just trade boom. And uh, you can see Jaruski's actually winning with the trade number at the moment. And that could be because Huns, guys. That could be because Huns. So, a funny situation that I'd really like to see in this game is where there's a battering ram or, or Maganel or something attacking a building that you need that is holding your king. And, and typically in those scenarios, what you'll find is the defensive player will repair. So they will repair their town center or repair whatever that may be, even their market. Well, they might not have the wood for that. Because when you try and repair a market, which is only 175 wood, it takes a lot of wood away from you. Uh, that's the same with all repairs in Age of Empires too. All right. I I'm curious. Let's look at the achievements here. Look at the food difference. Man, put some of that food on eBay and ship it out. I know eBay is kind of a dead website now, but geez. Forget about the market. 2,500 food. What is that food giving him? Maybe he is selling it a bit. He must be. Uh, it's not showing here much. A uh, Gray said T90 farm. Yeah. Yeah, this is... This is kind of like watching me play. My farms expire, and, and I'm, I'm using the farms that are further away from the, the TC. Yes. VH speaks. He says, yo, guys, player seven is a traitor. Oh. Okay. <laughs> VH says he's going to sneak you and kill you in the back, just saying. So Gray hasn't even said anything. VH is enjoying the limelight here. I don't think Gray has said a word. <laughs> and everybody's going to believe Fiage as well because Fiage is a pro player. So they think he's being serious. However, Gray did place one stone wall there, so I don't know where that villa's gone to. 
Where is that Ville for Gray? Oh! Yeah, Gray, Gray's, he's doing some something funky out here. Maybe he wanted to wall up the market. If he was trying to, yeah, if he was trying to wall up the market, that would make sense, wouldn't it? But the farm, believe it or not, the farm would have blocked the wall. T90 official, the price of food should skyrocket if VH is the only one selling and the others are buying, right? Um, so at the moment, the price is going to go down to buy food. So I, I don't know. I mean, every time you buy food, it gets more expensive. Every time you sell food, it gets less expensive to buy. Tiltstar says, I'm so bored, nothing to do. Well, Tiltstars, you're pretty far behind, man. Other people have a lot more population. So most people are at double-digit trade carts. 408 is not, and Aerolimb Aero is not either. But 18 trade for Drewski. And he's just built a market in the corner. So now he's getting 122 gold per trip. Grace says, thank you, T90. Are you thanking me for pointing out the fact that you're listening to the stream when you're playing a game? Or are you thanking me for not allowing you to play community games next time? Because you are. Which one is it? <laughs> I don't know if he is. He could have just been saying that randomly. Oh! Roach is building a tower here. So Gray's here. Gray's been trying to wall up Roach's market. And Roach built a tower defensively. And Roach does not have loom. He's going to attempt the to micro this anyhow. Oh man, this is awkward. Gray has to give he has to fight here underneath the tower, so. It's, it's... <laughs> I don't know who's gonna win this actually. <laughs> this could be really close. Roach doesn't have loom. He has two vills remaining, but one is very weak. And Gray! Oh! Gray! Wall in your vill! Wall in your vill! If you wall in your vill, you can kill the tower. What are you doing? There we go. So, Roach has to... Uh, is to try and either kill the stone wall. You know, killing the stone wall could work because Re uh, Gray won't have the resources to repair this. Roach might just buy another tower. Yeah, he will. Oh, man. How annoying is that? Gray... Now, I don't know. I just want to say I don't know for sure if Gray is actually watching, but if you are, Gray, just close the stream. He was thinking, he was thanking you for the wall and the batter down market idea. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah. I was mainly kidding. So that's what he wanted to do. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I did say that in the last game. Just want to be very clear. I did say to Gray, I don't want any witch hunts, okay? I, I remember now, I did say that. What strategy I would go for is I would wall in a villager next to a, a guy's market and try and kill the market. And then your opponent is forced to, to repair that market with wood, which they don't have. Yeah, Verendil. Uh, Verendil, who played in that, that other game here, he says, uh, just watch the last game. I don't want to spoil it, Verendil. So I won't read that comment out. Because I think that this will probably be uploaded first. I know it'll be in a, a wacky order, but. What is this madness, man? You know, I have to give VH credit. VH. He's, he's done quite a good job, actually. I'm surprised that he only has one idle villager. I'm really surprised. What are the prices looking like? Yeah, you can see currently it's only 27 gold to buy 100 food. So I don't know, is VH possibly helping the others because the others could buy the food for so cheap? Or is he gaining enough from this because of all the gold? I want to say he's, he's doing better. He has 20 trade cards, which is tied for most in the game. But he's not doing that much better than some of the others, so it's, it's weird. Krunker says, T90 official, which funky playlist did you play a few hours ago? So, Krunker, if you type exclamation mark Spotify in the Twitch chat, I, my Spotify is there, or you can search for me on Spotify, it's just T90 official. And I have quite a few public playlists, but the one you'll be looking for is Old But Gold. 
I honestly am going to change the name of that to Community Games because I have a lot of songs on there which aren't really old. Like there, I have some memes on there as well, so. Tiltstar says, I can't even build my towers. When my trade cards come back, I'll be rich. <laughs> yeah, Tiltstar is known for his tower rushing. So the only reason we've gone into this trade nothing is because Tilt Stars always tower rushes and we need to break the habit. It's like Fat Camp, except it's Tower Camp. That's essentially what this is. Not advocating something called Fat Camp and just making a comparison, that's all. I search T90 official everywhere. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, do you? Honestly, might be more worth it to just buy a castle. You know? Then to build all these houses? Look at the cost of wood. It is 252 gold for 100 wood. That buys you three houses. Yes. And then stone is, is 130 gold for 100 stone. You have to do that quite a few times. But I think in the long run, that might be better. Oh, Gray's doing it! Gray's doing it, and Gray signals. And I guess Yellow could always rebuild the market, but but poor... Oh no! Tiltstar's not like this, man. Guys, if... This is a big problem if Tiltstar's doesn't buy more wood quickly. He just invested into a blacksmith. So if he doesn't buy wood for another market, he's dead if his market goes down. Oh no, he has another one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Never mind. That would only be the case if he didn't already have this market in the south. So he doesn't need this one. So it doesn't even matter. And he advances to Castle Age. Well, I can appreciate the fact that Gray has... Um, has fallen for the bait of going with one of my ideas. Really, the reason I say those things is so people can test my ideas out for me. And as you can see, this idea was awful. And I will never try it when I play on this map. Actually, I should say if. A big, fat if. I don't know about when. So, Drewski was the first to Castle Age. Hun seems to be a pretty strong pick. And he's making scouts and knights? Are you kidding me? He has plus two attack. And he has a defense upgrade. He can actually go kill some kings right now. He's the only one who has more than just one military. And what is that one military? Is that... Did they start with a scout? Oh, it's the king. Duh. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I don't recall seeing a scout. Did I miss something? He's the only one who has military. Husbandry, of course, only costs food. He seems to have food. We might have found the best sieve for this game mode. Do you need the game to spectate, and is there a limit to how many people can spec a game? So, so Zyphus, I'll explain that briefly. So, um, first of all, to spectate an actual match, you need to own the game, yes. Uh, no. The, for those who are interested in getting involved in Age of Empires 2, this is how I'd recommend doing it. Go to Steam, purchase the game in the expansions. You can then play on HD. Yes. Uh, and then what I use is called Voobly. So after you purchase the, the HD edition, there's a free compatibility patch. And that free compatibility patch allows you to play on Voobly as well. So Voobly has all these fancy features, has better performances, more everything, like more capabilities. And so you can use both then. Now, when you're on Voobly, as we have a tower here from Tilt Stars, when you're on Voobly, there's a limit of, I think, a couple hundred people can spectate one game at once. Like, here's an idea. This is what it looks like. This is the game room. You can see, oh, oh, sorry, it's a bit zoomed. Um, there. So you can see I'm here, right? And the, the players are there. There's There's eight spectators right now, many of whom are probably in the Twitch chat. So it's... It's really nice. Hard to get used to, I will say. Hard to get used to, but once you're used to it, you're in the clear. So, Drewski has 27 trade carts. It is 28 now for Fiage, so he's slightly ahead there. Uh, Fiage is now clicking. He's on his way to Castle Age. And all eyes are on Drewski. And he's even building a castle defensively. 
not needing the houses must have really helped here. And he also didn't invest into near as many farms. And well, did you see that? Did you see him buy that food? He must be buying it. So I think Fiege is indirectly helping Drewski. And Drewski is, is indirectly helping Fiege, or even directly. Because Fiege is trying to, to sell the food. And uh, Drewski is, is trying to buy it. And they're helping each other. It's kind of like a seesaw here. Back and forth. Buy, sell, buy, sell. Bunny Warren, I'm I'm not quite at 2K right now. I've I've had better days. Looks like Fiage is doing sideways trading. Well, he's going to Yeah, he's going to the corners. So you can go from north to south, but you if you get turned on, then the trade's more vulnerable there. So I would probably try and diversify. Tiltstar says, I will help you, Red. Gray says, my vills are faster. Is Gray just running around with vills? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is freaking Berber vills. Gray, Gray is, uh, is the menace that every game needs. <laughs> He's just, the age is chasing down these vills. Tiltstar is just chasing down these vills. Gray, he really doesn't have a chance right now as far as I can see. He doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. He's... He's going for the highlight reel. So it's really just down to when Drewski turns. I think if he turns too early... Yeah, if he turns too early, life could get difficult. Because then people will know he's a threat. His score will jump up. People will start saying, Drewski, Drewski, stop it, stop it. And then there will be six people attacking Drewski. Now, I, I like the tech I just saw from Roach. Roach just researched Madrasa. And that's one thing we've not seen a lot of yet. We've not seen a lot of monks. So what is the only resource that's pretty much guaranteed on this map? Gold. What do monks cost? Gold. And it is only, only gold. Madrasa is a tech that gives you 33%, so 33 gold from your monk if it dies. So that's a really good tech. Yeah, thank God for Gray. Gray has, has sacrificed the victory so we could have something to talk about in the early game, indeed. And now Marauders for, for Drewski, so he's thinking of going Tarkins from the stables. Is it even... <laughs> like, that's kind of a waste of a tech for me. It's not like you're making these non-stop anyway. You might just be able to make those Tarkins from the castle you already have, but... Alright, it's cool tech. Yeah, Bayello, you're right. Yesterday on the stream, we discussed when that when is that useful? When is that Madrasa tech useful? And it's it's 200 food, 100 gold. So it's it's useful pretty much all the time if you have more than and four or five monks. On this map, it's extremely useful. So on many nothing maps that include wood, you have Celts as one of the best sieves. Uh, on gold nothing, there's Turks maybe. I, I don't know. There, there's lots of good civilizations for these other nothing maps but every nothing map we encounter there's a different meta game and i think that well first of all i can't believe that i'm talking so seriously about a freaking nothing map i don't know what i've turned into but but second of all and more importantly it's different every single map so we have huns here and then we have saracens as well i think saracens with the madrasa tech could be really strong and what's the cost of stone now is 191 gold to buy 100 stone it's not bad it is 405 gold to buy 100 wood, so that's getting more pricey. Fiage still has 24 vills, which is by far the most. He has 40 trade cards now, which is definitely the most. He also has more markets for efficiency. So, I think he's at the point now... Or if he just continues to buy wood, just starve everyone from wood, he'll be okay. Oh, there's a king from gray. <laughs> Teal says, get him, orange. Everyone wants gray dead. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Amons, I, I did ban. I did ban the Spanish 
Sorry to all the Spaniards out there. Just couldn't handle the, the strength of you. Well, we got a traffic jam here. What is this? VH says, move. <laughs> move, get out of the way. What's going on? Man, a trade raid is going to be so devastating on this map. Does Gray have a vill here? Does Gray have a unit here? He just says trade. What's happening? Is it green? I think, I think some of these are trapped. This one trade card is trapped. He can't get out. And then Drewski's trade card is being like, no, it's my turn, bro. And Roach says, I know I already got my goal. Just let me pass. So it's getting clogged up. This is like a snowball rolling down a hill right now. It's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse. Ah, there we go. <laughs> okay, Roach realizes. Strode says, I'm off to bed. Has been a fun stream. It has been, man. Thank you for the, the uh, map today. And have a nice night. Here are the market prices again. Bottom right of your screen. You can see the prices on the left. That's what that's how much gold it costs to buy those resources. And then there's how much gold you get on the right for selling those resources. And that's per 100. So if you sell 100 wood, which would be dumb, you'd get 400 gold. <laughs> but it is tempting, isn't it? Grace says, please don't do this. And Yellow says, get wrecked. <laughs> Kill Seville. <laughs> uh, that's funny, man. I mean, well played, Gray. I know that Gray probably won't win this game, but <laughs> he, he's been funny. Uh, Tilt Stars has the Rocket Beans TV clan on Boobly, <laughs> and... And 408 says, my dad is a member of Rocket Beans. He will annihilate you. And Tiltstar says, is it Donnie? And, and Grace says, yes. So apparently Donnie is, is the father of 408. <laughs> Whoa, look at purple. This castle kind of has a dual purpose. I, I, on one hand, I like it. On the other hand, I don't. But... His castle is, is not only protecting his king, but it is protecting the trade. Oh, wow. Uh, Drewski, he has Tarkins, he has Batards. Roach says, I hate myself for forgetting fast speed. Yep, you should. That's right, just gives us more time to cast. Yeah, I think Drewski might regret not attacking people earlier. If he were to attack Fiage now, Fiage would die. I think the longer Drewski waits, the more difficult it gets for him against his opponents. However, it is, uh... I mean, it, it really depends on just how people treat you after you kill someone. I think, now Fiage, yes, he, he's buying a castle. And so he might go for the Madrasa tech as well. And the prices are just getting higher and higher for everything. Mountain Adcast says, are you doing any events at TwitchCon? So, good question. Um... I will be at TwitchCon the second day, which is Saturday. I'm going to, to tweet out at a location in TwitchCon or maybe right outside of TwitchCon where I'll have a meetup. But it will be very last minute. Uh, like I might, I think either Friday evening or Saturday morning, I will say, hey, I'll be here at this time for this period of time. The reason I can't schedule an actual event is because everything's booked around TwitchCon. Unless I have like a spare $5,000 bill that I could book a place, I'm not going to get in. And also, TwitchCon itself uh, is is very, well, it's very packed. So, um, you know, if people are around and people want to meet me somewhere, I'll definitely go out of my way to meet fans, for sure. But it will be a little bit last minute. I, I just had lunch with my friend who's coming with me today to talk about my plans, and uh, or our plans. I'm excited. Blue's in the Imperial Age, good point. But he doesn't have a castle yet. <laughs> Seven bills in the Imperial Age. <laughs> Seven bills in the Imperial Age. What is this? Is he trying to... What is that gate? Is that even worth it? I think a Palisade gate is almost too expensive to build. Well, Orange doesn't want to attack because he doesn't want to be the bad guy. That's why. Do I think he should be the bad guy here? Probably, but 
The second he kills somebody, the second he puts a target on his back. And Roach now says, aren't you going for Fee Age? I'll help you. Okay, interesting. So they're going to team up on Fee Age. Roach has Mamelukes. And he has Monks. And he's going to be an Imp. I think Roach is the strongest player in this game right now. Just remember, Twitch chat and YouTube, it's very easy to judge when we're here as spectators. But when you're playing the game, you don't see what we see. <laughs> Drewski says, wasn't planning on it. <laughs> and Roach says, then who do you want to go for? Roach is ready to kill. Yeah, there's some market prices again at the bottom right. I'll just leave that up, I guess, for a little while. So it is currently 640 gold for 100 wood. It is 315 gold per uh, 100 stone. But Fiage has two castles. He's making Mamelukes. Remember, he's kept more active farmers, so he's actually bringing in more food. He also has 88 trade carts, which is way more than anybody else in the game. Though Drewski's right behind him. In this game, trade cards are essential your bills, so I would continue to trade. And he is. How do you counter Mamelukes? Well, Halberdiers currently are really strong. But you can't make you can't make Halbs, you don't have wood. So the counter to the Mamelukes is they don't exist in this game. Maybe monks. And there's a big fat maybe surrounding that. Blue's actually built his castle in the northern corner next to purple. I can't, I love how symmetrical this all is. Now, they've kind of ruined it, including teal in the trade. The symmetry. But nice and straight. I like it. So, you know, back to TwitchCon as this game heats up. I'm really excited to be there. Um, I I'm really excited to meet whoever is, is able to get together and meet as well. Uh, anytime I can get together with fans and, and talk to them is, is great. Especially people who have been supporters of my channel for a long time. I, I feel like they're... Not that I don't want to, but I feel like they're definitely owed to that face-to-face, -face, you know. And I'm able to say thank you in real life for allowing me to, to do what I do and, and for enjoying the content. Um, also, it's getting rather cold around here. And while I like fall weather... It'll be nice to be in warmer weather. Somebody asked what state I live in. I live in Pennsylvania, so it's it's getting pretty chilly here. Also, my, my best friend in real life is going to be coming with me. He's not a big gamer, but I am... I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to just going on vacation with him, which I did in April as well. Because, you know, uh, we get... We all grow up. You don't get to see your friends as, as often. And so, you know, it, it kind of stinks. So it would be good to go on a trip with him. So look look at this. Um, Tiltstars is building a castle in this corner. You need to be careful if you're Fee Age. You don't want this castle to go up. Because Tiltstars, he's the kind of guy who just turn on you and kill all your trade. Drewski says, okay, Roach, we can go for Fee Age. Roach says, okay, do you have Siege? And Drewski does not have Siege. Thanks for the excellent content. Take Jeff Bezos gold, please smile next game forest nothing T ninety tree next game forest nothing T ninety tree next game forest nothing T ninety tree. User, no force nothing today, man. Too many nothing maps to count. Thank you, thank you, thank you though for the two. Thank you for coming back with the prime. Also, bourbon proof, thank you very much for the five months, man. He said, past half late to our Twitch baby, keep up the great work. I will keep it up. I will definitely keep it up. I live in Texas, where it's 120 degrees year-round. Well, that could be that could be a bit much for me. Taxes are really good for streamers in Texas. I thought about moving to Texas because uh, there's not as much income tax on streaming income, and it's different state to state. But I just don't want to live in Texas. <laughs> Sorry, I will cast the Age of Empires Texas map, and it will be legendary. But I don't know if I want to move there. So Fiage, again, he's one of the best players in the game. And he now has an elite Mameluke on the way. Oh, Malin Outcast, were you the one who tweeted me about Ark? 
Want a free breakfast buffet? Heck yeah, dude. Somebody contacted me about that. It might have been you and I didn't respond yet. But Mountain Outcast, if you... If you contact me uh, via Discord or Twitter, I can respond to you. Sorry if I didn't respond. I, I get a lot of messages and I read them. Like, you know, you get a text message or, or an email and you read it and then you forget to respond. That, that, um, happens to me. So if VH is allied with orange, he probably sees the army is there. Also, if VH is allied with blue, he will see that blue's building a castle at home. Blue's king is in this TC. Now Roach notices this. He says, are you ready? So this would be the time maybe to surprise VH. Where is VH going exactly? He says, let's kill trade first. Oh man. This is going to be brutal. We've spent an hour game time to build up to this point. I think Roach's trade is about to be killed, actually. <laughs> so Roach and VH, the two strongest players in this game, they're probably going to lose all the trade in a bit. Or at least half of it. Drewski says okay, but... He, seem, he doesn't seem too excited about it. It's like... On a hot summer day, when there's a cold pool, which which looks nice, it seems like a great idea to jump in that pool. But once you stick your foot in, you're like, eh, yeah, I don't know, it's a little bit cold. I think Drewski should be very cautious about this. Florida and Nevada have no state income tax. Yeah, I know. I, I don't... I'm a very picky person, like, when it comes to climate. And I... If, if things... Like, I'm in a comfortable position right now, thankfully. But, you know, if things started getting really rough for me, um, then I might, like, make a move so I can continue making content. But we'll see. I, I, I don't really prefer to move away from family. And uh, it's a complicated thing. I don't want to talk. I know I mentioned it, but I don't want to talk too much about all that. It's very complicated business I'm in. We have to focus on the action here. Okay, so Roach has Mamelukes. He has plus four attack. He has plus four defense. He does not have elite Mamelukes. So I wonder what's better here. I almost feel like Roach's Mamelukes are better because, well, he's more of them and he has the other upgrades. Oh, Drewski says if you draw him away, I can kill all his houses in no time. Oh, that's interesting. This is tense. This is really tense. I I really don't know where we're going from here. Poor Gray. Is Gray even playing at this point? I guess he has to wait. Yeah, look at that. It's 824 gold to buy 100 wood. So if he wants to do anything more, he has to wait for the wood to buy houses. He'll be waiting a while. Oh, okay. So VH is losing his trade. He's losing his trade. And how has VH reacted? Where's VH's military at? It's on the way. So again, elite Mamluk. He will have some monks as well. And he has way more trade even after losing some. He has more than double Roach's trade. And here he comes. And Roach is actually trying to convert the trade cards, which is an interesting play. Really will just come down to the fights here. So going into this game, I did say VH is the, the highest rated player here by far. You have Roach in second place. Those two are going to be fighting out now. And, yeah, I just... I want to say... Oh, Roach is too busy typing. He's not actually engaging here. Oh, that's so good for Fiage. I still want to say that Roach is in a better situation. He's not far off from getting Elite Mameluke himself, and then he'll have full ups, but... Depends on conversions, depends on a lot of things, and this normally will favor... The more skilled player, Roach, he's going head-to-head -head with Fiege, and he gets a few conversions, and he might hold on here. He might just hold on. Yes. Gray signals blue and says, buy blue, but really, orange is going towards Fiege. <laughs> Fiege is realizing this. He says, hey, they teaming me. Well, imagine that, man. Imagine that. Surprise, surprise. Oh, Fiege is in trouble. VH is in trouble. Good point from Orange if he just kills VH's houses. I mean, of course you could go for the king. 
The king is actually out. The king is right here for Fiege. Are you kidding me? He's for. Oh, he's running with his king. Okay. Makes sense. His Mamluks. I don't see them. He doesn't have enough of them anyway. His king is just dancing around. VH has 140 trade cards, but he won't have buildings to fight if he loses his castle. He would need roughly, well, 2,000 gold to buy another castle. And I, again, it's, it's roughly. It down goes the castle. So good on Drewski. Good on Drewski to be aggressive here because he, he really had a big advantage earlier. This minimap is going to be really hard to follow because there's so many colors moving around, but that's good. I think VH could still do this if he buys another castle, and there we go. He's just done so. So, honestly, props for, to VH. Props to VH to somehow stay alive there. Ran his king away, and Drewski's just running back now that the counters to him and the Mamelukes are chasing him down. I think if Yellow were to turn on VH... Fiege would be in big trouble because that castle would kill a lot of trade. Oh! The castle's been denied! So Drewski snuck in here and denied the castle. Wow, what a play. You know, elsewhere there's not a lot of movement. I see a few units randomly throughout the map. A Fiege wants payback. And he is killing some of Drewski's trade. Drewski, he only has 80 trade. And Roach is losing numbers too. Somehow Fiege, as he's losing trade, is, is still at 140. Which is incredible. Oh yeah, Teal has 150. So what will Teal go with? He doesn't have a castle... Teal, wait, what is this? Teal, you don't even have a military building, bro. There we go. He's building his first military building of the game. Yeah, without military, it's going to be a problem. VH has over trade booms. He has 10,000 gold. He doesn't, have, he doesn't have the pop space to create any uh, houses. And Gray shows up. And Gray's like, hey, what's going on here? Just passing. Gray, there's nothing else Gray can do. So Gray shows up. He's just getting in the way. He just wants to watch. Fiat needs a lot of conversions to make up for the fact that he's at 34 military while Roach is at 62. And okay, now this villager's on the way out. And this villager can maybe finish the castle, which will give Fiat pop space. And that will then give him a way to make more Mamluks. 17,000 gold for Fiat. I mean... What do you want? Do you, would you prefer less military, more trade? Or would you prefer more military, less trade? I don't know. I I don't know, honestly. Whoa! Purple made petards. And bombard cannons. This is a sniping army. <laughs> Gray says, my king is here to boost morale. So Gray's trying to... <laughs> He's trying to boost morale in PH's town. I love Gray, man. This is great. This is great. But Scarius is good night, T90 in chat. Too tired to finish watching the game, unfortunately. Enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. All right, man. Thank you. A uh, Stinky Batwings with a $2 donation. I'm sorry. I've been, believe it or not, so focused on the game. I haven't been able to catch up with all the alerts. But I do get to it. He said, Ocean nothing, aka Baby Shark nothing. Trade Cog or Fishing Ship nothing. Demos being the sharks. T90 demo. Oh boy, that sounds rough. He also said, keep up the good streams. Thank you, I will, man. Thank you. Thank you for the tip. Nobody is dead yet. Everybody lives. Everybody lives. And as I say that, Fiege is getting pressured. Fiege has his Mamluks going for trade here. He's killing some trade. But what he needs is he needs defense. And all of his monks are going down. I think VH could die. VH, he's at 84 trade. He's lost a bunch of trade. Gray is still here to watch, which is funny. If VH has his king in this castle, I mean TC, I just don't see him coming back despite his best efforts. Luckily, the castle will 
We'll stay alive for a little while, but... I think, you know, VH is trying to bait Roach into the castle fire. <laughs> VH says, I need help. I can pay. That's true! He could sling resources to someone for help. That's an interesting uh, proposal, I think. And I don't know if Roach can sit here. He's going to. But I don't see him killing the castle. Because the castle is killing these Mamluks pretty quickly. And Fiat is getting conversions! Fiat is going to survive from this! Are you kidding me? Is he actually going to survive from this? He's just built another castle. And a new TC. Now, I really hope that nobody else fights. Because, okay. Well, it's happening. So I can't really focus on it. Teal... His king is on the move, and purple is looking to find him. You know, purple's trade cards are giving him vision, so he can see the king is there. So we have that going on, while Roach is, is actually having success with killing this castle, and Fiage runs. And oh goodness, it's so far, it's so difficult to, to find the kings. And Teal will have to find an ally to run to. Uh, Fiage is also on the move to an ally. Everyone's going the blue. <laughs> Blue's probably thinking, "Get away from me, man." Get away from me, I don't want this attention. Is Teal in here? Yeah, Teal is in here. Where will Fiage go? Fiage, you have to you have to go for the castle, man. He says, help my king, please. Player one, fast, have mercy. <laughs> oh god! Make it! Oh! Are you kidding me? That king's on like two HP and he makes it into the castle. But now blue is gonna be attacked by everybody. If he doesn't ungarrison these kings. <laughs> Gray actually says, I'm coming with my own king to help, which is ridiculous. And yeah, now Roach is gonna turn on Blue. Poor Blue. He didn't want anything about he didn't want anything to do with this. He wasn't hosting a party. That's supposed to be next weekend. Come on, guys. You knew that the, the Mamluks were coming tonight. Why'd you show up now? Gray has been just running around. He, he hasn't really done much, right? He's just had idle bills and he's boosting morale, I guess. Oh, VH says he doesn't have any more bills. He's lost all of his villagers, so he's dead now. I'm going to remove the overlay, so take one last look at that. I guess it's not possible then for him to build any more buildings. So. Hmm. Blue has quite a few monks here. Uh, Fiage is gonna... Believe it or not, he'll be the first one dead. As long as someone wants to snipe, and purple will take it. Wow. Well, throw Fiage some salutes, please, because that was one heck of a game. All the focus was on him. He goes down, and purple... He's allied with blue, but he has to put Targe right next to blue's castle. Is he gonna get two... No! Is he going to turn on him? He turns on him. He'll kill the castle. There's two kings there. He kills blue. He kills teal. He's just killed three kings in the last 30 seconds. And now Gray's dead. Gray was here as well. That's four kings. This is just the dream game for purple. Have you ever seen so many king kills at once? Wow. And yellow and, and green, they're like, what are you kidding me? That wasn't even a triple kill, that was an overkill. That was nuts. And so now, all of a sudden, as everyone made it past an hour, we have Tilt Stars, we have Purple, we have Drewski, we have Roach. So we have four people left just like that. And now, um... Phew, I mean, I don't want to go back to the overlay, because unfortunately the overlay is just clocking everything up, but... I don't know who is favored. I, I have to say probably Roach. But then again, Purple will have this whole corner secure. Wow, so many <laughs> so many trade cards getting slaughtered. Oh, this is funny. We really need a time lapse of this minimap after the game. If someone could do that um, after watching the video or the stream, that'd be funny. Just to see... Uh, how many trade cards are eliminated? This is way better than I expected. Way better than I expected. What's Drewski up to? 
I think aggression is your friend. I think the best defense is an offense here. That was Fiage's mistake. He wasn't aggressive enough. He should have just gone for it. Especially in Fiage's shoes, because people are going to team up on him anyway. Drewski has elite Tarkins, and I know that Mamluks are out in the field, but if he just kills people's castles and, and, and markets, that could be the strat. And Boop says you're right, it's good. Yeah, surprisingly good, isn't it? Drewski says, so purple, Roach is going to win if we don't team up. Interesting. What is Roach doing? Yeah, he does have a lot of Mamelukes. And Roach also has 60 trade. What are the prices at? 813 gold to buy 100 wood. 363 gold to buy 100 stone, which is still surprisingly low. So Roach said, holy shit, purple northern corner seems super strong. And then Arne said, I don't know, you seem pretty strong. And Roach said, you too. So I mean, everybody, screw it. I need to see the overlay to assess the situation. We need the, we need the data. Let's just look at this for a, a couple moments. It's too bad that overlay glitches out in these settings. Okay, so most trade is Drewski from the people that are alive, right? It's 60 for purple, 60 for roach, and 50 for yellow. Military, also more for Drewski. He only has three villagers. He's at 200 pop and he only has three vills and they're idle. So yeah, Drewski is in the lead as far as resources go, for sure. Okay, let's remove this now. But if you if you lose your vills like Fiage did and you lose TCs, you could die because you won't be able to rebuild buildings then <laughs> tilt stars is is trying to convert the houses and it, it seems like fia did research heresy so these houses will not go to tilt stars that's funny good upgrade there now f11 doesn't work lower doesn't work willard Regardless of how many caps you type, it doesn't work for me because I have other other settings set up. Thank you, though. Okay, so Drewski and Roach are now fighting, and Drewski, again, I think he should have made a move. Roach. He he needs Siege. He needs one single trebuchet, but he does have Mamluks versus Tarkins. And now what will Purple do? Purple... He's just... Making the trade more efficient, I guess. Let's not forget about yellow. Yellow doesn't seem like he's a real threat to anyone right now, but... Maybe. We've yet to see Aztec monks. He has 85 HP on these monks. He has a few... I say yet to see, I mean like mass Aztec monks. Hands, the fat man, thank you for the new sub man. Welcome. Uh, Axorakra, thank you for 14... I apologize for butchering your name 14 times. Yes. Does he have murder holes? If he doesn't have murder holes in the castle, that's going to be a problem. Purple says, I think we have to make a move on the others. And he's talking to Yellow, and Yellow says, yes, but I have no good army. Okay. This is true, I mean... We thought Huns could be the best, but I think Huns are good for a start. You have a really fast start with Huns, but Saracens, with these Mamelukes and the Monks, and the Market Bonus, that's a triple yes. whammy right there. Whoa, 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 whoa. No communicating in German, because I, I don't won't know what you're talking about. Purple says, are you German? And Yellow says, uh, yes. No, we need a translator. Somebody translate that. <laughs> What does that... My name is in that sentence. Can I get a translator there, please? What does that say? They say it will confuse you. Really? Is that what it says? If we speak German, it will confuse T90? <laughs> that, that's funny. <laughs> 
You know, everything's going on and he had the presence of mind to say that. Oh no, we have more! You guys. Freaking Germans. Germans always troll me, I swear. And now- Whoa! Whoa! Hold on a second, what is happening here? All of Teal's trade carts have- Well, they're dead. Well, they're, they're not dead. They, they still have life. It's like a fish after you cut its head off. It, it's still breathing, even though it doesn't do anything. That's a lot of trade. I guess that uh, there's no home for them now. Is that 150 trade carts right there? Might be. That's a good troll, I have to admit. So on a very serious note, if I could get translations in the Twitch chat, like serious translations, because I'd like to know what they're talking about. I, I saw orange, so I got that much. I think, okay, now I got siege. So purple, orange says, uh, yellow says, maybe we need to team orange to attack Roach, who is green. I don't know if Grun is green. Then Kickass says, I have siege. And I, I, I only got army from what Tiltstars just said. He is going on orange, the other on green. Oh, really? <laughs> I was close. I was close. You know, when I went to Germany, it was great because most of the Germans I met could speak English. I think they should let orange be. I don't think they should waste resources on orange. No offense to Drewski, but he's, he seems to be hurting right now. He's lost a lot of his trade. Uh, he has... Yeah, 54 trade now. I would I would focus on killing Roach. Your German ain't that bad if you can get that much from it. Well, it's just because the, the words are are similar. Like I'm just I'm just guessing. You know, I actually only know like one German word, and that's nine. That's nine. That's easy. What does purple have? He has petards. He did have Bombard Cannons. Where did the Bombard Cannons go? Remember he was killing the houses from Teal with them. Where did he send them? He has 18 Siege Units. Does he have them here? Ah, there we go. There's three Bombard Cannons. Okay. Yeah, Dave, Teal is dead. <laughs> and these trade carts... There's so many that the ones who've already dropped off the golds have stopped, and the other ones with the gold are like, Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give I need to, need to give this gold to my master. Something like that. Four is nothing. Eight equals act more German. Does it? Well, thank you very much for the eight months, real Pope Francis. No moves yet from purple. He has a total of 64 trade units. We'll look to green now. Green has a total of 68 trade units. Orange was around 50 when we checked a moment ago. And Roach is still losing trade. I mean, everybody's taking losses to this. Except for yellow. Right? Yellow's only at 62, but he's not fighting anybody. Is he allied with everybody? Allied with green, purple, and orange, so he's kind of been forgotten about. Alright, we need another translation here. Can they convert the trade units from Teal? They could do that, actually. Uh, something that we saw earlier, but perhaps the players aren't thinking about right now. Now, what I don't know is if you can convert it and get the gold. Because if you can convert it and get the gold, that is a lot of gold, right? That's 150 gold per... I don't know, like maybe 20, 30 trade cards? Yes. Together on green is what they said. Okay, thank you. I figured if more than one person says the translation, it's probably accurate. Because very rare that Twitch chat will think of the same troll twice. Like if, if you all said... It means that they like cheese sandwiches, then I would believe you because it'd just be one person. But, I mean, now, of course, you're all going to say that in the chat, and I'll know. And I've also just challenged you guys to troll me, which was a mistake. So I might be deceived. 
but anyway. Okay, in two minutes. I see I got that one in two min minuten. Yes. Is that how you pronounce it in German? Is it, is it? I know German, you have to have a lot of in the words. So like, is it Is that what it is? That was my first impression when I heard German in real life. It's just a lot of, a lot of weird. <laughs> no offense, but just a lot of those noises, you know. I'm not saying English is a perfect language, but that, that's my experience as an outs outsider. Oh God, we have German donations now. You would think in 2018 that my bot could translate this. Okay, that means that Dave is a sexy Canadian. I think. <laughs> sexy Canadian beast, I think. <laughs> That's gotta be. That's gotta be Dave is a sexy Canadian beast. <laughs> so, I didn't even realize because I'm too busy talking about languages. Roach is pushing orange, so this would be a good opportunity for purple to make a move. Would be a good opportunity for yellow to make a move on green. Uh, Drewski's king is in the corner and he's... He, it's not looking great for him. Oh boy. Sorry about the yawns. I want to hear from Dave, that sexy Canadian beast. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I bet you guys didn't think that you'd be translating for me today. Barret. That means ready. Yes. That means ready, right? Yellow says yes. Yes, I got it! Woohoo! We're learning German. Who needs uh, Rosetta Stone when I can just cast Age of Empires? Perfect. Yes. All right. So, Tilt Stars says go. Purple says yes. Roach is out of position with his army. He has to expect this possibility, and he has a lot of monks at home. Oh, but you know what? His Mamluks are chasing these... These Drusky, uh, Tarkins. And I don't know if Roach can click enough to use all these monks. Especially when Hussars are coming in. Oh, man. And, and just send the Hussars after the monks and Roach is dead. Just, just send the Hussars right after the monks. Don't go for the TC. Go for the monks. Nine, 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 Uchin, Gutchin, Gutchin monks. He knows now. The the king is in the in the castle. Okay, so can he save himself? Let's see. The TC goes down. The, the king is in this castle. Roach has to click with every single <laughs> with every single monk. Now I don't know if this king can escape to another castle. It is possible if he runs this way. There it is! Are you kidding me? How? How? Okay, he's dead. I was gonna say, Roach must not have thought he was gonna live there because he didn't garrison in the castle. It's possible he could have survived there. And now they both say nice, which does not need a translation. <laughs> People are translating anyway. Thank you. So, Drewski, he's... he's He's feeling very blessed at the moment to still be alive. And wait, now what do they say? Oh, they just said yes. So, I feel bad for Drewski. Drewski's like me, he can't speak German, so the Germans are teaming up on the, uh, the Americans. Well, not really, but I, I expect that that's what will happen now. And Drewski has now set purple to enemy, and he set yellow to enemy. Yellow's king is walled in here, and all of these castles in the north for purple are going to protect him, and Drewski will lose both corners immediately and lose all of his trade. So that's probably the end for Drewski. Nice means cheese sandwich in English. <laughs> Stop it. What did Tarzis say with his $5 donation? I don't know what that means. I had a conversation with Tarzis once. And Tarzis, you should have known better than to bring this up around me, because I was going to bring it up a lot. Tarzis said when he was in the United States, he really liked eating at Denny's. Which, I mean, hey, I'm not going to knock it. You like what you like. But Denny's is not really seen as a 
as a great restaurant in the States. So maybe that's what he said. Maybe he said something like, instead of Der Lecker Prinzessin Isser Schmusen, he said, uh, I like pristine Danny. I don't know. I can't do it. So, Drist is going to die now, or at least he should, right? He doesn't have resources. He's at 74 pop. His population is half trade, and does he have military? Okay, so he has a few units. So, maybe, I mean, it would be one heck of a snipe, but it's unlikely. My parents have been living in the States for six years. I have Denny's every single time I visit. <laughs> you know, I Tars is, I don't know what the French healthcare is like, but if, if you can pull it off, man, go to the doctor and get your head checked out. Because <laughs> there's something wrong with you, man. <laughs> the, the only time, and this is coming from a guy who doesn't drink a lot, the only time that I would even remotely desire Denny's would be if I was drunk. That would be the only... The only time. I feel like it'd be good drunk food. But... Nice attempt there. Nice attempt uh, from, from Orange to... To kill Yellow's King, but Yellow's King is down here, so... Yeah, it's good. It's good. Before or after or during alcohol, I guess. Which technically could be at any, could be at any time. I remember my brother went to college in... Uh, in a state up north, and when we were visiting my brother, when I was very young. We went to Denny's, and I, that might have like really changed my outlook on Denny's, but it was not the the classiest place. Maybe Tarsus's parents live in a nice part of town, and they have a classy Denny's. I don't know. Anyway, I didn't want to talk about Denny's when I started this game. So, <laughs> no, we're not going to eat Denny's at TwitchCon. <laughs> I'm not flying across the states to eat Denny's. <laughs> That sounds like an awful idea. <laughs> hey T90, how often do you check your mails? See Sultan Air at post tube approve and T music bam. Okay, what's that mean? I'm I, I'm scared now. I'm scared. What does that mean? Denny's tastes like the inside of an escalator, Dave. For a sexy Canadian beast, you have a really weird mind, my friend. How many in how many escalators have you tasted, Dave? That's what I want to know. I mean, I know Canada, I know weed is legal now, but was that your first move? Like, oh, I'm gonna get high legally. Let's go, let's go taste the inside of an escalator. Guess it wouldn't surprise me. Whoa, did that bombard cannon just hit the the Tarkin? If nothing else, Drewski is being a trooper here to survive. Siege is so expensive for the other players. There's a few vills for purple. Let's look at the cost. As 888 gold to buy 100 wood. <laughs> I think... See, yellow doesn't have bombard cannon, which is a bit of a problem. Because he would have to go for Trebs. Oh boy, what a stream tonight. He's actually against purple now. Which means he's going to lose his trade, right? Oh no, he's trying He's trying to trade with Teal? Where's he going? Where are these things coming from? They're looping the whole way around. He must have just grabbed a few. Because he realized that some were going to die. Okay, so overlay again. Let's see. Purple says, well, that's bad. I need to see the trade numbers now. So, green is, of course, dead. 18 for purple. 40 for yellow, but that's before a bunch... Oh, no, he saves them. That's big. And 7... <laughs> oh, God! 7 trade cards for Drewski. Are we at the point where people don't have enough trade to actually do anything? Is this how trade nothing ends? You know, Roach's markets are still alive, but Roach has these these towers. So yell and and Roach has Mamluk, so these trade cards won't make it back. 
Oh no, what has this become? No one's gonna have trade. This could be a big stalemate. And naturally, if you don't think you can get gold to, uh, to make more army, you won't want to engage with the army you have. You want to play it safe and survive. Orange has 30 military. With Tarkins, could Orange do this? What does Purple have? It... Purple could die to Orange's Tarkins. It could actually happen. You've got to be kidding me. Monks instantly become the strongest thing in the game. But you have to use them. What about yellow? Wait, where did his gold go? What did he spend his gold on? He has one barracks making eagles. Where did his gold go? Didn't he have like 8,000? Stone. Did he buy stone? Oh, uh, it would be a nice idea to castle here. If he has vills. Did he actually buy stone? Maybe I missed how many resources he had, but it seems to me like he had gold before. <laughs> Drisky, he's winning with the trade numbers, ladies and gentlemen. And he, oh, he's still trading with yellow? Oh, they're allied. I'm sorry. This is just too insane for me to follow. I mean, we're talking about Denny's. We have Germans insulting me. Cheese sandwiches. <laughs> Tiltstar said, what happened to my TC? And Drewski says, sorry. Lasagne says, can we redo this? I missed the beginning. Uh, no. Possibly in the future, of course, but if you like, you can watch the Twitch past broadcast of the entire stream. I've been live for six hours now, so you could watch the whole thing, actually. You could always wait for the YouTube video as well, of course. In my defense, I was for sure thinking it was over. You don't have to defend yourself, Drewski. <laughs> he needs 911 golds to buy 100 food. <laughs> The most expensive Tarkins ever. Oh. And... They're now going to arrive and kill Roach's towers. You know, in hindsight, if Yellow would have just been more patient, he could have survived with a lot more trade. I, I thought the game was speeding up to the point where it would end soon, but now that Purple has 1, 2, 3, 4... Seven castles. Uh, I'm not so sure. Is purple trading with anybody? Oh, he's trading with teal. So he's getting a little bit of something. He also could convert these trade cards. But... Actually, no, he can't. He can't convert them because if he changes... Yeah, see, this is what happens if he changes teal to enemy to try and convert them. His castles are just in the wrong spot. So, now you need to make sure you don't kill this market. Okay, purple sorted it out. Drewski says, I'm going to take out purple's houses. Good strategy. Good strategy. And, uh, it still probably won't be enough. He does have houses and castles, so... I don't think they realize that the guy has seven castles. They must not be thinking about it. Purple, he probably misses Yellow's friendship. He's not talking in German anymore. He's not communicating with anybody. <clears throat> he says, so how's it going, guys? I'm Oppo45, which I can't speak German, but I can translate. That means Pop45. Tiltstar says, that's what you get for trying to snipe me. Did I miss something? Did Purple try and snipe Yellow? He did have the batards near Yellow's TC. But, maybe I missed a snipe attempt, or I've forgotten about it already. <laughs> yeah, I know, I'm just kidding, Germans. I know that he misspelled pop. <laughs> I know. I mean, it's just a dumb joke. My apologies. Yeah, maybe it was the petards with orange that did it. And purple says just passing. <laughs> 
Yeah, just passing Petarch into your TC, bro. That's it. Just it. That's it. Uh, trade numbers again. Drewski has... 26 trade units. Yellow has... 11. And then purple has... 24. However, he's not trading as efficiently. He could try and go to green, actually. That could obviously be killed, but he could try and sneak a few cards over. Purple does say, I'm no threat right now. Take care of each other. Well, man, now I'm getting all hungry because we talked about Denny's, believe it or not, and this game could go on for a while longer. Where do we go from here? Oh, boy. That's a game changer. Who was allied with Teal? Was it Drewski? Drewski was allied with Teal, and he saw the market and deleted it. And now Purple has nowhere to trade. Arrow Limb says, I was allied to Yellow and Orange when I died. Okay, so it was either Yellow or it was Orange. So I think both Drewski and Tilt Stars will know that uh, they are the two strongest now. That's fairly obvious. I like Aztecs better here. As long as that barracks is still alive. Is the barracks still alive for Tilt Stars? Yeah, it is. This one barracks can produce eagles. I guess they don't trust purple. But they'll find out soon enough. They'll just see castles, that's it. Yeah, Tiltstar says, why do you have so many points? So he sees the score. Drewski says, Treb, saving up. Let's go! That's so expensive, guys. Drewski is a legend. He's trying to save up for this. I thought he had actually created one. So it is 996 gold to buy 100 wood, which he will need to do twice. So he needs 2,000 gold. And then he needs... 200 gold for uh, the treb. So 2,000 gold for the wood and then 200 gold for the, the treb cost. Purple doesn't doesn't really have a way of bringing in resources right now. Unless he goes for the trade heist and gets to Roach's base, which could actually work. He's enemy to Roach, correct? Yeah, but if he's sneaky about this, he could slide around the edge of the map. Um... They really should have killed Roach's markets if they weren't going to use them. Alright, so we'll just get to know one another until Drewski gets enough for a trap. <laughs> the stupid thing is they can't fight with their Tarkins or their Eagles. There's so many castles that just wouldn't work. So, oh boy. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. Yellow has houses here, but I don't know if he'll spot it. I don't think that was intentional. Did he convert them? Maybe he converted a few of them. Uh, actually, no, because the architecture would have would have stayed the same as Roach's. You could convert enemy monks if you knew they were here. Of course, there's castle fire you have to think about. Oh, Tilt Stars is, is starting to trade with Roach, which I really like because Roach is already dead. And Orange could really turn on yellow at any time. <laughs> Purple is, is sending everything forward. He's going on a, a secret mission to get trade. I think with one sea dream he could possibly kill that castle. Here we go! Here we go! There he goes! Yeah, your castle's still around to snipe the carts, but if he if he goes against the edge of the map, he's okay. Come on. He knows the castle's there. That wouldn't have changed. He's getting theocracy. That will help. Maybe he wants to heal his trade carts. Honestly, it makes sense. Trade carts are ridiculously expensive, so... He doesn't necessarily have to return with autopathing. If he just clicks them, right, then they will automatically path right here. But if he if he manually does this, 
then he can he can make his own route back. Oh, for yellow. Oh, good point for yellow. Um, nope. Nope, this castle's not quite in range, actually. Purple says, I have 250 gold, 60 pop, no trade, which is true. And Tilt Stars, he is really tilted, for lack of a better word. He does not trust Purple at all. After the betrayal, he says, what, what consists this 60 pop of? So what, what 60 population do you have? Beat you back to age of 10 vils, 20 trade, useless. How accurate is this? He's, he's telling the truth with all of this. I like how he adds useless. <laughs> oh, look at the pro strats. Okay, so now what he needs to do... I, I have this strategy idea down. Kill the castle. Well, you know what? He should be able to kill this. You know, if, if for some reason he couldn't kill this, like Roach had a Maganel here... The strategy would be to leave the ram in the castle fire, send a villager to repair the ram, and just let the ram sit there and soak up the damage. Okay, well, here go all the units, nice and slow. Just has to kill this castle. Oh boy! One trade card down. That's right, don't care about the monk, move it, horses! Come on, Sea Biscuit. <laughs> he's gonna kill the castle. He doesn't want to come this way. I mean, he's gonna kill the house. Um. Oh, we have drama. We have drama. Drewski and Yellow are fighting, and Drewski just. Well, all right. He calls the GG. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Tilt Stars will now lose a lot of his trade, though. And in theory, it could give purple the lead. The ram survives. It will finish off this castle. Once the castle is down, just click, man, and get that gold. There's only one castle for yellow. What you could do is just kill the barracks from, from yellow. And uh, then he can't make eagles. Kill the monastery. He can't make monks. And purple changes yellow to neutral. And yellow changes purple to neutral. Come on, purple, go. Go, buddy. Trade, please. Drewski's been defeated now. I guess he just sent his king forward. He just gave it up. Well played, Drewski. And now Tilt Stars changes his stance with purple's enemy. And purple, you're, you're kind of... Uh, like, I like this strategy choice, but it's just kind of bothering me. I'm not going to lie. W wh why? Go. What's that? What's that? What's that do? Was that you? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I understand. So, Yellow didn't kill it. Drewski probably committed suicide somewhere. And so, Yellow thinks that Purple has a real force... Because somebody had to kill Orange. Come on, guys. You don't have to be secretive anymore. It's just you. How's it looking? Okay, thank you. I, I see I see high 4S in the chat. He's been truthful this entire time. And they're off! They were off. Why is Purple being so hesitant? <laughs> Okay, do we keep going? Oh, Purple thinks the towers are still there. Purple thinks the towers are still there and he finds out they're not there anymore. Wow. So now he changes Roach to allies so he won't accidentally kill these buildings. And he will convert yellow's houses, which just alerts yellow to what's going on. Yellow should be able to fight this. There's not a not a lot of uh, Mamelukes in this group. But he also might not want to leave home. Yellow is psyched out. Yellow doesn't realize that purple is as dead as he is.
Who said you are dead? Why don't you resign? Who said that? Was that yellow or was that purple? It was yellow, right? Yellow is losing trade to this. And remember, he can't trade this way. Actually, you know... <laughs> you know what? He might be able to get away with the view. I have trade now again. That's what purple said. And... Oh! What are you doing? Is purple gonna win this nonsense? Okay, trade trade cog or cart numbers. 22 for yellow. Make that 20. The other ones will die on the other side eventually. Purple just needs enough to make military to defend. And if he if he's able to defend his trade, obviously it'll take a long time, but he'll win. Because he eventually need he needs to buy enough food. Oh god. He needs 840 gold to buy 100 food, which gives him one Mameluke. So he needs enough Mamelukes to kill the eagles, and then he should win. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> he only needs 800 gold for 100 food. That's it. Why don't they make farms? Well, could have something to do with the fact that it's 916 gold to make, or to buy 100 wood. Is it worth it to farm? Well, do they have TCs? No TCs for purple. He... Does he have a mill? He has no mill either. So he has some villagers. He would actually need a mill and he would need to go for the farm. So that's 2,000 gold. Again, it's very easy for us to, to think about these things now, but for the players, they don't know. Um, yellow... He has vills, no TCs, and he does have a mill. And he has 73 wood, which is... That's basically 730 gold right there. But food for him doesn't mean quite as much, does it? It's really the gold cost. Seal roaches farms? I guess you could, they could do that too. There are possibilities. Again, will they think of them? They know that there's 1,200 people watching this, and this is the first time they've ever played this, so... We're, we're quickly learning. Not that I want this map to be a regular thing, but... We will, we will know for next time, and, and, and yeah, I think Yellow, all he really needs to do now is clean this up. Purple doesn't have the military yet. Yellow can kill this. Eagles clean this up easily. And... Uh... There we go! So the monks will die. And now Purple hasn't had the trade long enough. I don't think he can win. Well, <laughs> here's here's the dumb thing, because this is going to become a stalemate. I don't think Yellow has enough eagles to kill the castles. So if Purple wants, he can just sit back. But with no trade, Purple's dead, of course. And now Yellow says get wrecked. He needs to be careful. He has 19 trade units, some of which are being attacked by by Drewski's castles. And he need Don't kill the markets! Oh man, I was going to say, he needs to keep these markets alive. Yeah, one tre... True, one trebuchet. So... Yellow needs enough gold, honestly, one trip with the trade. And he should have enough gold to buy wood. And maybe have enough gold remaining for a treb. And then he has to protect that trebuchet to the very end. Which, mm, I think it's doable. Yeah, I think it's doable. I mean, I don't know what you guys were expecting from trade nothing. But if you didn't expect the game to stall out like this at the end. Because trade is important. Uh, you must have been having one too many coffees from Denny's. Okay. And yellow still does not know that purple doesn't have anything back at home. That's the thing. Purple has a higher score than him, so he's assuming that purple's actually in a stronger position. Does green have trebs around? Oh, green also has mamelukes to convert. He has monks to convert. Oh, he has trebs somewhere. Where were they? Here? Ooh! Ooh, trebuchets, okay. That would be huge. Oh, uh, Roach says he has heresy, never mind. 
So with heresy, his units will just disappear. Okay, translators. What's this mean? He's talking about nuns. He says, can you do something? I think. Can you beat me? Okay. Okay, that's confusing. I, I can't even guess there. Yellow's asking for a draw. Okay. So purple basically says, can you even do anything? Yellow asks for a draw, and this might give purple confidence. Hmm. Are there any markets remaining? Purple is enemy to orange, correct? He is. He could possibly go for orange's castles and try and trade there, but then again, of course yellow could could trade for the same corner. I don't know. I don't know. 89 population for yellow. Purple. Oh, here he goes. Um, I guess it doesn't hurt to try. Something is better than nothing, so he'll make it back with some gold. Tiltstar says, I guess T90 quit watching already. I don't know why you would think that. This, this, uh, I'm learning German right now, man. And oh, he changes Tiltstar's to ally. Tiltstar's allies him. What is happening? Wouldn't, wouldn't it be hilarious if purple tricks yellow into allying him and then kills all of his trade or something? Yellow's considering running forward as well. Purple has yet to go for the trade. Now they can see that they both have very little. Um, but yellow, the thing is, yellow doesn't have enough to kill these castles. <laughs> That's the dumb thing. The king is right there for, for uh, purple, by the way. So I don't think Drewski has ballistics. So in theory, you could send one trade card back and forth here and distract all the castle fire and send trade cards in. See, he's actually gotten past there. <laughs> Wait, is this going to work? Are you kidding me? I mean, you can only do this so many times. <laughs> Look at this trade card. It hasn't taken any hits. <laughs> this is going to take so long. Oh, man. But he didn't take any hits there. Uh, what fight are you guys talking about? I don't see any fighting going on. Oh, yeah, there was fighting. So I guess eh, Purple tried to kill Trade and he died. Which is kind of expected. But Purple has a new strat. <laughs> this will take a long time. But uh, this is his new strategy, apparently. I guess Drewski never needed ballistics because he was going for Tarkins, of course. Eventually, the, the trade will die. I mean, he's playing with fire, but he's getting some gold back. Just don't see that being enough when yellow has a safe trade route. Okay, let's look at yellow's resources. He has wood now, so with a little bit more gold, right after this, he can make a treb. Make it. Make the treb. Make the trap. Go for it, man. I don't see what else you can do. Just just protect your one trebuchet. If he sacrifices his eagles going for it because he's overconfident, I might cry a lot. Or, yeah, a sizable amount. There will be tears. Don't, don't try it. Unless he remembers the king was there and he wants to kill the king, but... Protector, thank you for the 200 bits, man. Ground 15, thank you for the prime. Where are these eagles going? Is he making more trade? Oh, he's just making more trade. So purple says showdown in the middle. Honestly, German's not that complicated. I'm picking up on a lot of these words. Purple's trade is working somehow. Yellow asks purple for population. Purple's probably thinking, should I bluff? 
Should I be honest? What's okay? I said German is easy. I don't know. Not many. Oh, I was so close. Let's go. Learning German with T90 official. It was close. So I guess, you know, in the long run, Yellow Wolf, of course, he can create more trade. Uh, he will, will get an advantage here. You can see the importance of ballistics in this game mode. Even Drewski is still evading the arrows, and he's been dead for a while. German Thursday incoming now. Just English here. I guess if... If Tiltstar's, yeah, he sees the trade now. If he just kills these markets, then Purple definitely has no chance. Tiltstar's doesn't need that. Now Purple responds 70, which is a lie. This is the first time he's lied. And he says, you. And Yellow is being honest. He says 109. Yeah, Red Floyd, this this is trade nothing. We're two hours and 40 minutes in, so you're getting here near the end. Uh, down goes the market. And that opened up a small opportunity for for Purple to kill these markets now. Oh, wow, and, and Yellow's even stonewalling it up. So yeah, this is over now, I think. This is over. Purple has no trade. He is sending the king to the middle, so he must know. And I think he'll go for one last little raid, and he'll call it quits. What a, what an eventful game. What an eventful game. Drewski said, thought about getting ballistics before suiciding. Yeah, would have changed things for sure. But I still think Yellow would have, uh, would have held his position here. It's a bit of a shame because Yellow wasn't all that aggressive in the early stages of the game. I mean, obviously, he, he wants to get the victory, and he played very well once he started doing things, but he uh, he was very passive compared to others, for a while, anyway. Um. I wanted to snipe yell earlier, but I misclicked the chat tab instead of the Diplo and got confused. But then I was so slow that Yellow realized, and I went to VH and said, Oh, really? Interesting. Okay, so, <laughs> uh, I, I think, <laughs> this is funny, Purple's trying to bait Yellow into losing his eagles to the castles. And Yellow realizes this. I mean, again, what is your plan, Purple? You you can't do anything here, so you should probably just give it up and save us some time. Oh, wait a second! He's got a plan. He has military. He has this little dude. And this guy is going to save the game. Never mind. Hey, it could work. <laughs> it could work. I mean, if he tries a million times, it could work at least once. If the micro is good. He's been playing that scenario, Bombard Cannon Micro. You never know. <laughs> I think in a second, he will realize. He says, yeah, I'm dead. Signals where his king is going. Um... Yeah, the Bombard Cannon obviously can't win. It says something about falling, or his king is falling. The Bombard Cannon is now falling, and the king is now falling, and that is the end of Trade Nothing. Technically, that was not the first time we've done it, because we did do a King of the Hill prior to this. But that is the first true Trade Nothing, in my opinion, because we had the Regicide aspect, which is what everyone wants to see. Uh, well played tilt stars. He says, sorry guys. Hey man, I know what I, I know what I'm in for when I start casting these and I, I know the Twitch chat is as well. So I, I put in the sacrifices for all of you. That was, I'm trying to think of a way to describe that game. Uh, that was surprisingly good. That was surprisingly good. I knew that it would be stalemate at times, but I did not expect it to be that good. Uh, well played, everybody. And of course, when you have a good game, 
it's because of not only the map, but how the players played it. We've had maps which could have arguably been fantastic, but the players didn't play fantastic. So thank you, Roach, Drewski, Tiltstars, Kickass, Fiage, Spiru, Airlimp, Airbolimp, and 408. A uh, small little shout out to 408 for just giving us something to talk about before we had anything to talk about. It being different, this game. Uh, right, there's the KD. Roach actually had more kills. I think economy is what we need to see. Drewski had... Well, he had a good sieve for sniping early. Drewski, if you rewatch this, you probably could have killed half the players early, in all honesty. Huns give you a fantastic start, but in late game, Saracens seem to be good. In this case, Aztecs seem to be good. But I think that had Roach not been double teamed, his Mamelukes would have killed everything that Yellow could make. I think Drewski didn't want to be a jerk. That was what I said at the time. I think he didn't want to be that guy to snipe first. Um, all right. I mean, research count is interesting. Uptime is very different. There's the timeline. I was wondering if the timeline would look any different. I guess it, it doesn't look too different from any other game. But this is the period in time what I was discussing, how Yellow didn't, he didn't do much. Like, look at the military from all the other players. So Yellow took his time... I think people need to be mindful of this in community games in the future. I mean, sure, Yellow might not have made any enemies, but that in itself could make him an enemy if you think about it because he should have more resources and he should be stronger because he was not fighting. So, like every once in a while in these community games, you will find players being very passive in hopes that they can hold on for later. Well, when you see that, maybe you should step aside from the fight, say, listen, buddy, I know we've been fighting for the last 20 minutes, but this Yellow guy or this blue guy, or whoever that might be, they're not engaging in, in fights, and they probably have more resources than us. <laughs> gray? You don't see any dark gray, really, for gray's military, do you? <laughs> uh, gray's, gray's timeline is pretty funny. And he survived for a long time, too. So, I mean, all things considered, well played for him, I guess. So, of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, I know I say this a lot nowadays, uh, I stream Age of Empires 2 on Twitch, I do this four to five days a week, whether that be community games or classic games or expert games. So if you'd like to stop by and say hello and see what the stream is all about, that link is below in the video description. The Tiltstar says, just didn't have resources for any military the whole time. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But you did, you did have a strong number of eagles for a while. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing that you, you didn't use them because had you used them, you probably would have lost them. But if other players would have thought about that, they could have turned on you before continuing the fights between themselves. 